Hello, and this is Professor Hasselman. Um, I have had a couple of emails from students uh, regarding discussions. So what I'm going to do right now is very quickly go through the respons your responsibilities in this class for discussions. Let me get my cords in the way here. Okay, so I'm going to log in to uh, Canvas. All right, this is the same with you guys. I should have had this started, but I'll log in right now. All right. And when you log into Canvas, we're going to log into our course, and I'm going to view it as a student. So let me go into Settings, Student View. Okay, so this is how you guys see it, minus the pink thing on the bottom of the sheet here. So in the discussions for this first week, and let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you can see everything going on here. This week we have week one discussion. So a lot of you have been following directions, which is excellent. And for those of you who are a little confused, I'm going to explain what's happening right here. All right, so we have uh, four different discussions that we are working on, and we call these threads. So if you notice, I collapsed them, and some of them were put in the wrong spot here. So anything you see by me, so time management, reading to learn, studying, and introductions. So th this is the discussion forum, and what we call, we call these threads. And the first set of threads are always going to be by me, okay? And these include the questions of the different sections. So for this first week, you have four threads to work on. Time management, reading to learn, studying, and the introductions. Now, I, what I did was I hit this button right here. This is the collapse button, and I collapsed them. To open them all back up, I want to hit the expand replies button. Okay, so I want to expand that. And if you notice here, we've got Patricia posted first, and Ashton, and Roxanne, and they all, what they did was when they typed, when they started this, they hit the reply button, and they replied to this first set of questions. Okay, and then some other students replied to them. So you notice down here, Leslie uh, replied to Roxanne, and so did Elena. And then Leslie started her own reply from the original one. And she kept going down and people have been replying to what people have to say. And now the purpose of this is to post an initial response. So that's the first tab over to each thread. Then you go back and you listen, you kind of respond to what other people have been saying. Now I believe there's four response or two responses minimum you have to have or four. I'll have to check the, the, the thing or put that down exactly what to do. But that's for each one. So you had one, we had time management. The next one we did was, if I scroll down here, and you can see a lot of people have posted on that one, reading to learn. And the next one you have is studying. And those are little shorter responses just based on some of the little acronyms you guys have been using. And then the introductions, which are introducing yourself to the class. So for the first one, they say you introduce yourself. Leslie was the first to introduce herself on Monday, and then on Tuesday, Ashton responded, and Leslie responded back, and then on Monday, Patricia also responded initially, and you can see it's this threaded thing right here. So think of it as like a, a, a tree. So it starts at the top, the initial, the, the, the initial roots are is my introduction, my beginning here. Leslie was one branch, it branched off into a couple, and then Patricia started over, etc. So that's what we need to do for each week. Now, I'm going to show you, so this week was pretty open for time and for different due dates. So everything was due by the end of the week for the, or for the quizzes by Friday and the discussions by the end of the week. Now, I'm going to log in to show you a little bit of what's happening in week number two. Okay, so that was week number one. In week number two, where we actually begin most of the work for this class, we're going to be having um, conferences and readings for each section. So if we scroll down here and we look at week number two, we're going to be talking about the origins of the first Americans. You're going to have some readings, some videos to watch, some assignments to complete, a quiz and some assignments, a conference to listen to or listen to the next day. Then you'll have a week two and reading discussion discussion. So if you click on that, you'll notice very similar to the last one is you have one, two, three, four threads to respond to. Okay. And the way this is going to work is I'll be looking at the due dates very carefully here is this one will be due after the first day of listening to stuff. The next one, the second day, third day. Okay. Now the final, the final discussion is due by Sunday, all the discussions or Saturday or Sunday, whatever the syllabus says, 
but you need to be doing one at a time, otherwise you'll run out of time in completing them. So every day you'll have some reading to do, and the next day you'll have a discussion post to do. Reading an assignments, discussion post. Reading assignments, discussion post. And that's what you'll do. And I, I put due dates in the syllabus to make sure that you follow all of those carefully, otherwise we'll run out of time in this class. One of the important things to remember about a class like this is that in seven weeks, we are covering the same material that you cover in a 16-week regular semester. So it's double time. So on a, in an online class, and even in a regular class, I give due dates on a regular period to keep you from falling behind and so you stay up with that. So that will be for each week, you'll have a set of threaded discussions to participate. So after the first day, you do your reading. If, you, if you're around until 7 p.m., or you can take your quiz and you can do your reading. And after you've listened to the conference, the next day you can participate. So we'll click on this, you know, reply to this first one, Origins of the First Americans, type in your response. The next day, respond to the culture and regions of Native America and type in your response. And there's several pieces to each of these things. So if you look at the instructions at the top of the page, you'll have four pieces, 200 to 250 words, an answer to the essential question, how does a lecture course readings relate to power and privilege in America? What is one thing that you learned and found interesting that you did not know before? And what's a question that you still have that was not answered in the lecture or in the course readings? After you are complete with all four of the discussions, by the end of the week you should go back and respond to at least two of your classmates' posts and follow up with at least one response left regarding, regarding one of your posts. So in other words, you will post four different times in the origins, one time in origins and cultural and age of exploration and colonial societies. Then you'll return and read through the different posts and respond to at least two. Then you'll come back and respond to a response. So if someone left a response on your thing, you come back and respond again to them. Uh, responses must be between 50 and 75 words. Okay. So that's kind of a rundown of the, of the discussions and what I'm looking for, okay? Uh, this will be posted up online for you to look at. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, we have this first week to kind of get used to the online experience, practicing your quizzes, practicing your uh, using Google Docs, using the discussion. But sorry, next week if we're just gonna fly, we're gonna go through the material and learn about American history from the perspective of power and privilege up into the Civil War. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I've been pretty quick on responding to students, but I thought I'd make this discussion video right off the bat to kind of give you some idea in case there's any other questions. So uh, everyone have a wonderful night, and I look forward to reading the rest of your work, and keep up the good work for those of you who've been responding to discussions and turning in assignments. And uh, we'll all, my next uh, video will be posted up on uh, Tuesday after the first uh, lecture in the first uh, conference. So everyone have a great night and this is Professor Hosselman, uh, History 101, uh, signing off.